In question 3a, we're to describe and explain how a student could use standard lab equipment to make accurate measurements of a height h and a time t for finding the acceleration due to gravity. Well, h would be measured using a metre rule. We could use a plumb line to ensure the ruler was vertical. t would be very short, so we'd need to use an electronic timer. For instance, we could have an electromagnet holding the ball. As the electromagnet is switched off, the ball is released, the timer starts. The ball can then land on a trapdoor. As the ball knocks open the trapdoor, this stops the timer. H would then be measured from the bottom of the ball when it's in the raised position to the upper surface of the trapdoor. All measurements, of course, would be repeated and a mean found. In B, we're asked to complete the table for the missing value of t squared. Well, 0.43 O squared gives us 0.185. For C, where to plot the missing data on the graph and draw the straight line of best fit, and then for part two, determine the gradient of the straight line. Well, I get my change in y of the whole length of the graph paper, which comes out at 0.07 and that is in second squared, that is delta y. And, and for my change in x, I've got the line leaving the top of the graph at around 0.97, and it's crossing the bottom of the graph at around 0.64, which gives me 0.33, that's in meters, and that is my delta x. That gives a gradient, of delta y over delta x, which is 0 0.07 over 0.33, which comes out at 0 0.21, and that is seconds squared per meter. In D, part 1, we're asked to use the equations of motion for constant acceleration to give the given relationship between t and h. Well, from s is equal to u t plus a half a t squared. In this case, the ball starts from rest, so u is naught meters per second. The acceleration is that due to gravity, g, and the distance s is the height h. So we get that h is equal to a half g t squared, and we can rearrange this to give t squared is equal to 2 over g times h as required. In part 2, we're to use this answer to find the experimental value for g. Well, from t squared equals 2 over g times h, the gradient, this is basically what we've got is t squared against h, so this is a y is equal to m x graph, so the gradient of our graph is equal to 2 over g. Therefore g is equal to 2 over the gradient, which is 2 over 0 0.21, or whatever value you got, which comes out at 9.5 meters per second squared.